the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh, I'm doomed. It looks like a ballpoint feather pen. It's made. Must be dealer prep. It seems to be locked up tight. It's the captain's fine oak cabinet. There's an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Tooth rot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Tooth rot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Tooth rot and I passed out from the soup he fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. Looks like an empty chest. I can't pick that up. What a bunch of lazy pigs. What was that? Nothing. Hey guys, what's happening? Beat it, Guybrush. I hear the weather's pretty nice over by Monkey Island. Nice try, Guybrush, but no banana. I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. Then, I'm gonna start kicking some butt. Excuse me, Guybrush. Does the word keelhole mean anything to you? I see your point. Thanks. Is there anything I can do to get you guys to help me? Excuse me, Guybrush. You're blocking the sun. What a fine-looking flag. Shivers me timbers just looking at it.
what I wouldn't give for a nice big water balloon right now. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. It's about the same size as my head. Looks like you're one of the mill ship's cooking pot. They're just old rusty trunks. It's just an old rusty chest. They look like kegs of gunpowder. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some! They're just old rusty chests. It's a giant piece of rope. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. They're just old empty kegs. It's the top of a cereal box, used as a bookmark. Mmm. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. I'm no enologist, but judging from the deep red color, this is a very fine wine. Great! A toy prize inside! This is no prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. The chest is empty. It's too heavy to carry anywhere else. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood. Mmm. One live chicken. Three ounces brimstone. One or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride. Zinc oxide, yellow 8, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. I love cinnamon. Good thing I've got a million of these. Just a drop. That should be enough.
about the time I got rid of this worthless artifact. This is gonna be good. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. Oh, I feel awful. It's full of crap. I hope I don't have to eat this. Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island! Wow, this was well worth $59.95 plus tax. It's too far to walk to, and besides, I can't swim. Hey, look! We've made it to Monkey Island! Let us know when you found the governor! We've got an extra chair she can use! I'll take some more. There's no place back here to put the gunpowder. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. Deja vu. It's much too dangerous to climb out there for no reason. I don't think they're going to be much help. Well, you got it. Nice and hot. Rot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. I better leave it here. They look like they're almost ready to fall off the tree. It's yellow. That's strange. It says Sea Monkey. I don't have anything to paddle with. I can't pick that up.
trail ends here. Warning. Objects in spyglass may be farther away than they appear. It's rusty. I don't think it'll work. That doesn't seem to work. Good, strong stuff. Nice spyglass. Looks just like... Say, where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. You don't fool me, Sonny. Um, sorry. Well, that's okay. Next time, be more careful. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Black and explosive, just the way I like it. It's printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. What do you mean, braver than I look? Don't be a jerk! I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships? On <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> um, I'm afraid I must be going now. Pressing business, you know. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better! <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Why, the people watching, of course. Um, sure. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh, boy! He doesn't look good. Boy, it sure is hot here. I don't see anything special about it. I don't want to blind myself. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. 
It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. Hey, I can see my ship from here. What a hunk of junk. It looks like someone put this here on purpose. Ah, I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. Something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. What happened to your pants? What pants? Did you lend something to the cannibals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head, see? Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Hey, I can see my ship from here. What a hunk of junk. Whoops. I'll just put it here. Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The Cannibals. There's some floating debris where my ship used to be. It won't go further. The ocean is pretty from here. There's some debris to the right. There's some debris to the left. And the big tree on the beach to the right.
I can see that big banana tree on the beach. like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. I bet the odds against that are incredible. I can see that big banana tree on the beach. It came close, but I don't think it'll hit it again. That shot was one in a zillion. Wow, what a jungle. There's the big banana tree on the beach to the left. The jungle's pretty thick. All I can see is a bunch of animals eating each other. Hey, I can see the lookout on Melee Island. He's looking right at me. I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, I'd say this is a piece of flint. I'll take this flint, too. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. some luscious looking bananas. There's a message in it. It's a memo. To Herman Toothrot. From Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law. Regarding suit against cannibal tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. It's a gross old bottle. I don't want it. Private property. Worshipping is permitted, but please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. Yipes. Shish kebab. Shish kejo. Heep. The artist carved his name on it. Made by Red Skull. Wow. Made by Sharptooth. That monkey head some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow waxy buildup, though. Ugh. Yes, it's quite impressive. It'd be a great tourist attraction. <laughs> If anybody could ever find the island... Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> what the heck would I do with that? works best with things made of steel. Oh! It seems to be a jump rope. He doesn't look good. Hi. I'm here to rescue the governor of Melee Island. Take me to your leader. 
seen any big, ugly, scary see-through pirates around here? Is it always this hot around here? Looks strong. Looks sturdy. It's a pair of oars. I can paddle it with these oars. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. HT. It's an empty hut. This hut is very empty. Boy, this is the emptiest hut I've ever seen. Looks a little overripe, except for those nice juicy bananas. It looks big and empty. I don't want to get any closer to that thing. It might be booby-trapped. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Hey, do you really think we're that stupid? I wouldn't push it if I were you. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Ha! We're not going to fall for that old trick again. I guess we'll eat you now. Unless... If you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, well... You ain't going nowhere until you give us something. Oh, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, whatever you say. We might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must protest your acquisition of our voodoo anti root. We realize that it presents a hazard to you and your crew, but this is thievery. The Monkey Island Cannibals. I think that's how I'll end up if I don't get out of here soon. No thanks. They've still got some meat on them. It says, if found, please return to Herman Toothrot. What a cute little skull.
And I can't get through it. It doesn't open. Looks loose. I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. Nothing left but bad fruit. Ah, the banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and stringy. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... We've already got one of those. Now, what would the great monkey do with that? Do you have anything of a more spiritual value? That's hardly an artifact worthy of the great monkey. That should do it. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Well, well, well. You're quite the escape artist, aren't you? I told you we should eat him. Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Really think we want that after you've had your grubby paws all over it? Sorry, we already have plenty of those. We appreciate the natural fibers, but no thanks. That should do it. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. How you get out is almost as much of a mystery as why you keep coming back. The real mystery is why he's not simmering with carrots right now. Oh, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, whatever you say. That should do it. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. In a primitive yet effective way, it's locked. I don't know if this is getting boring for you, but it sure is for me. <laughs> Not until he comes down.
definitely the second biggest monkey head I've ever seen. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. This is much too heavy to pick up. Let alone carry around this godforsaken island for god knows what reason. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. This is much too heavy to pick up. Let alone carry around this godforsaken island for god knows what reason. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. This is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. We should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. Her back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? It's not as though I'm asking for a lot. Oh, hi! I was just looking for the natives to get them to return my banana picker. But I can't seem to find him. I have your banana picker. Hey, thanks. I thought I'd never see this again. Here, you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. It looks like a giant cotton swab. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? Money. I want money. That's not exactly what we had in mind. Is there anything else we could do for you? I need a ship. How did you get here if you don't have a ship? Well, this big rock fell out of the sky. I see. Say no more. Well. I'm sorry, but we don't have a ship. Is there anything else we could do for you? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. The people I'm looking for aren't civilized. I'm looking for 30 dead guys and one woman. I don't think I want to hear any more about it. Wait, maybe he's talking about those dead pirates. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs, wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. Where are LeChuck and his crew hiding? He's in a place beneath this island, somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. 
A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. What happened? Health department shut you down? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. Give me the potion. I'll use it on LeChuck. We can't. Why not? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But LeChuck stole the whole thing. LeChuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. I'm off to find LeChuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without the... Hey, Ixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Not What's the Ed Hay of the Avigator Nay? I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. Oh, come on, tell me. I gave you the idol. It is a very nice idol. Ude uye avhe a apme ave of a atacombs ke? Ari say, oh no. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well, I think they're having a serious discussion. <clears throat> Excuse us, but we're in the middle of a serious discussion. I know, but I really need that navigator head thing. I told you, we only have one. We don't know how to get another one. Sorry. Ah, one of those newfangled magnetic compasses. Mm, too high tech. Yeah, give me a good old fashioned disembodied head any day. Ah, the key to the great monkey. Thank you very much. It's called How to Get Ahead and Navigate. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Oh, look! I think he likes you. Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. Hello, Mr. Navigator. Hello.
think I'm gonna be sick if I have to look at much more of this kind of stuff. eerie-looking ghost ship I saw sailing off with the governor. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? Thank you for leading me to the ghost ship. Hey, no problem. When you only have one job, you do it well. Know what I mean? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Pretty please with sugar on top? Oh, all right, you big baby. You can have it. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. I don't want to have to hurt you. And I don't want to have to make you regret it. What are you going to do? Bite me? Remember, you need me to get out of this place. If I wanted to, I could strand you here forever. If I wanted to, I could dropkick you into the lava. On second thought, hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? I've come to interrogate the prisoner. Yikes! This feels weird. Looks like Monkey Island. It's got little wriggling blue hairs in it. Ah, what be that noise? The ship sounds strange in these waters. Ah, what be that noise? Strange places, strange noises. Ugh, no thanks. It looks sound asleep. Can't pick that up. I can't get it away from him. It's a feather from a ghost chicken. They look like chickens. 
Gross, look at the meat. I don't see anything special about it. Well, except that big glowing voodoo antidote inside. I can't get inside it. It's nailed, chained, bolted, roped, glued, and welded together. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. <laughs> it's a bottle of ghost grog. It looks drunk. That's the biggest ghost rat I've ever seen. It's an empty dish. Yikes! I hate rats. It's a vat of cooking grease. Ugh, it's all over my hands. This should stop it from squeaking. They're glowing ghost tools. Oh, good, more inventory. He's asleep. Hey, I bet the governor's in there. I don't want to wake him up unless I have some of that anti-ghost potion to defend myself with. This should do it. Grab this old root and be on my way. It's an empty voodoo anti root crate. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the root! Wow! Look, he's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all. Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. Nice monkey. I got the root. I'm not such a wimp after all. I'd love to have you stuff. I'd make a fortune. There it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. And if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck. Thanks. After some more furious paddling, You scared me half to death! Balmy weather we're having, isn't it? It's always like that down here. Would you please stop doing that with your head? Sure. What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there, and I had to chase after it. And when I came back, they had gone. Shame, too. I hate to miss the wedding. What wedding? LeChuck is marrying the governor of Melee Island. What? But how will they... Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. They're headed there. Melee Island? Oh, no. I give up. I'm tired of chasing them everywhere. What? You can't give up now! 
What kind of a hero are you anyway? You're right. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Bob! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I missed the boat to the wedding. Hey! No problem! <laughs> we can take mine! Let's go! Uh, hey, uh, how did you get in here without a head? I have a head. If you have a ship, why are you waiting to be rescued? Why, heck, if you're stranded, you've got to be rescued. Said so in the rules. Will you take me to Melee Island? I'll lend you my ship if you promise to rescue me with it. Okay. Well, let's go! Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wonder where Tooth Rot's gone to now. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. The church is the other way. Yikes. Hey! Wait a second! I'm selling this fine mouthwash. Is it mint flavored? I only like the minty kind. Cool. Excuse me. Do you have an invitation to the wedding? No, I'm a gate crasher. Bye now. Not so fast, buddy. You don't look very ghost-like to me. You're very pink. I suffer from a rare pigmentation efficiency syndrome. You don't sound much like a ghost either. Could you wail and moan or rattle some chains or something? My chains are at the cleaners being degreased. Well, okay. Oh. Say, you sound a lot like my doll. But where's that dank, musty, beyond the grave ghostly smell? Oh, that. Just let me get my boots off. No, never mind. If you're really a ghost, prove it. Let's see you pop your head off. You mean the head on this root beer? <laughs> this stuff's great. Watch out, LeChuck. There's a new sheriff in town and his name... Hey, I better get to the church. I've got to get to the church. Seems like it's always 10 o'clock on this island. That's not the church. That's not the church. That's not the church. That's not the way to the church. If there be any man with reason, that these two uh, people should not be united in blissful matrimony. Let him speak now, or forever hold his peace. Stop the wedding! Hey! Who's that? You! I've come to stop you from marrying Governor Marley. How do you plan to do that? Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? 
but what I uh, uh... How did you manage to escape? Oh, that was easy. The Chucky's a bozo. Hey. And lots of his crew members were friends of mine when they were alive. If you're here, then who's that in the dress? <laughs> what? Oh, don't scare them! They have my ghost sapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Going, guy brush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But I, uh, hey, you dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. Well, I can't believe your stupidity. Yeah. Well, I can't believe your frivolity. Well, I can't believe your enormity. Yeah. Well, I can't believe your mobility. Well, I can't believe your virility. Yeah? Well, I can't believe your fragility. Well, I can't believe your felicity. Ah, I grow tired of you. I had to stop you from marrying Governor Marley. I'll marry her yet. Ha-ha! <laughs> How do you plan to stop me? I'll use my spear and magic helmet. Huh? I'll whack you with a rubber chicken. Many have tried that and died for their effort. I'll offer a bribe for your bride. Ha! Ah, booty for me beauty, eh? I'll douse you with my sticky seltzer bottle. You'll never menace decent, tangible pirates again, you billowing bag of... of... of something that begins with B. Uh. Now, hold on a minute there, Freddy. I was only kidding, you know. We can settle this like gentlemen. Oh, no. It's jammed. It must be pocket lint. Um, say now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> ah! Son, how's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant 
obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? Sure. There's more at Stan's. Gosh, I hope Stan's okay. I wish my crew could have seen this. You know, I can't shake the feeling that Guybrush was somehow responsible for that big rock sinking the ship. Yeah. As soon as we find a way off this island, we're gonna have ourselves a little chat with Mr. Threepwood. Let's get out of this hut first. Yeah, at least I learned something from all this. What's that? It's not the size of the ship. Yes, I've heard that one. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. A what? I don't know. Not sure why I said that. How to deal with frustration, disappointment, and irritating cynicism. Hmm, that sounds like something my husband would say. Ah. Ha, ha, ha.